this will be a history channel I'll be working on. My first video, mainly after this, be the true first video. This is just an update relating to what I'm working on. If they had stuff like this back in the past, oh man, things would have been much better for us who have uh, prostate legs or prosthetic arms. But yeah, things have uh, really helped, advanced. But um, yeah, I had a knee surgery a while back in February that didn't go so well. And uh, ever since then, I've had severe knee spasms, severe pain. And if it wasn't for this device that uh, a good friend of mine who I met through Nina Heels uh, versus Babyface as that. And uh, I think also um, Mr. Porkchop. I forgot what other channels I met Tommy through. But I met him through quite a few others. One of the sweetest, nicest uh, military vets you ever meet over in the UK. One day I will get over there and meet him as well as everybody else I could meet and show my gratitude. But yeah, knee surgery didn't go so well. They found something else and removed it. And since they removed it, as you can tell, it's decides to finish just as I, I'm talking. And you can hear my mom's dog barking at the worst possible time. But, uh, yeah, it was not a fun experience. My knee was pretty messed up from the surgery. If it wasn't for this device, I wouldn't be able to function at all. I'm trying to deal with the pain as best I can. This device is helping me out a lot. Um, I'm doing this best I can, taking things slow, doing physical therapy, um, not overdoing things. One thing that my physical therapist from there had a drill in my head was take it slow, don't overdo things. So when I put up my historical video, which be my true first video, it's gonna be relating to the pirate age, how, uh, they use their sleeves, the pants, as their socks. Mine are basically silicone rubber with like a, some kind of fabric over it. And um, yeah, the legs were nice, well designed, handcrafted. I don't know if they chiseled into it or what, so I'm doing research into it and how they did their legs. And it's pretty cool on how they did their legs. And they pretty much stayed out to sea, depending on, on how many limbs they lost. If they lost too many, they eventually went back to shore duty and stayed there. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting video. I'm trying not to make it too long. So once I find an editing program, I'll shorten it down. So I don't make it uh, a 20 hour long video. <laughs> I really don't want my first video to be that long. I'll do it as long as I get the, it to be accurate and informative. But yeah, having a prostate leg, it's not the most fun thing to have sometimes, but it's also fun at times too. You get great parking. You get to have some perks. Halloween's fun too. But you do have to have a good sense of humor. So one of my things I'm going to do with my channel will be whenever I go live, I'll try to invite people on so I can talk to them about their disabilities. And let them know, you got to laugh, you got to joke, you can't let it get to you. Do what I used to do when I was a kid. When I would go into my prostate place and uh, they would have me talk to people who just lost their legs and uh, tell them what to expect. Don't let people get to you. Learn to joke about it. Don't let things bother you. you Got to have a good sense of humor. 
anyone who knows me knows I got the one most twisted sense of humor. I basically go into Adam Crickler's uh, chat, and I call my fake leg the leg of doom. Another guy there calls it the leg of peas. So it's fun. I even sent one of my uh, legs to uh, Court Black Garrett. The very first leg I got when I lost the ability to walk for nearly nine years to him, and I wrote on it, the leg of doom. He got really excited, so if you check some of his older videos and streams, you'll actually literally see my leg up on his wall. He still hasn't got a chance to put it up on the wall again yet because he had to move to a new home, but yeah, he has my uh, first leg I learned how to walk again on with him. So yeah, he's one of my good friends. May not know him up in person yet, but I will get to know everybody who uh, helped give me encouragement to keep going, don't slow down. And get this channel up and running. I owe Tommy a lot. Oh Nina, even Gary, who I don't know personally, but his constant encouragement. Jeremy from Geese and Gamer, Adam, George, Giant Slayer, so many people. Even uh, Superman wasn't friendly. Green Rocks has been a good friend. So many good people, and it looks like I'll keep talking forever. But yeah, this device here has helped keep my knee spasms down to the point that I'm not having them really anymore now. This has been my seventh, sixth or seventh time using it. So uh, I owe Tommy so much. I've been paying it forward as best I can and I will give him a gift to say thank you. And he has no say in the matter. He will get a thank you gift. Be blessed everyone.